Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to install this E46 M3 budget big brake kit into my E46 M3 right there. As you can see, my E46 M3 is due for a brake and disc change because as you can see, I have a minimal part left on here and also have a lip on my rotors that's the same thing on the back here now i already jack up the car but right now i'm going to show you exactly what i decided to go with as far as the big brake kit right there the e46 m3 has a lot of big brake kit you know options available you have stop tech you have ap racing you have even brembo but those cost a lot a lot of money for example just for the front right here if you want to go with one of those options you have to pay almost three thousand dollars for just the front if you want the front and the back you need to spend maybe five thousand dollars now this big brake kit i'm going to go into detail on the pricing at the end of the video it cost me less than 2200 yes for all of this less than 2200 i was able to you know purchase this and also going to upgrade my car in a second now for the front i decided to go with the megan trophy rs cup calipers right here this is from a renault megan cup car that does rally so you know the brake calipers are going to be great and for the back i decided to go with the porsche 996 911 rear calipers now you have to use this bracket right here in order to secure that into the car so that's exactly what we are going to do for the rotors these are the e90 m3 rotors so these are 360 millimeters very 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 wide but whenever you order this from freaky part you have the option to select the csl rotors because i wanted big rotors so that i have enough surface for my pads brembo pads right here to actually grip here i decided to go with the e90 m3 brakes so 360 compared to 328 right here is going to be massive now for the back i kept the same size csl rotor style i purchased that for all of this from fcp euro just these brake calipers that i purchased from freaky part and when you order from freaky part it comes with a whole kit you know brake calipers headline all the kind of the tools that you're going to need bracket and also a part you have a selection of part from the website so you don't have to go with brembo now this is pretty much whenever you install you have to flush i prefer to use the, the motor rbs 600 because this is a racing fluid and if i decide to take my car to the track i don't have to flush anymore now from rally road i purchased this set and it comes with this and the bracket right here this is what you need to install the rear caliper onto the car right there now because these usually stripped i decided to purchase a set of these um retaining screw for the calipers just in case i replace them or I strip them whenever i'm swapping now this is the front of my car as you can see and this is the rear you can see same thing i have a lip and yep i have a minimum the minimal disc wear. so all of this is going to be upgraded and yep for you to start, you have to jack up the car this way. Now, if it's the first time that you make up to my channel, make sure that you follow me, follow me on Instagram at Torvec Motors, like, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of content about this E46 M3, the Porsche that is parked outside, and any other car that I had before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install this wonderful kit into my E46 M3. We are going to start with the front, so I'm gonna show you the process right now. On the front here, the first step is to first remove the grommet right here, securing the brake hose. You can remove it, pushing it out like that. Ugh, I have to do two hands to that to do that. Then after you remove that, you remove the five millimeter hex, securing the rotors in place here. It's good to do it right now because you have the brake caliper holding the rotor so it's not going to move around and then you remove the 16 millimeters right here and there's also one on the bottom securing the brake calipers then you can put the brake caliper you know on the wheel like i have the wheel here or hang it on a suspension using a hanger after that remove your rotors and you will have the spindle and that's when we can start on the brake brake kit part now that you have everything removed the next step will be to cutting or trimming i mark a line here i'm not sure if you can see this is about where you want to trim so this part is going to be off 
Same thing on the bottom here of the market line here because the bracket for the big bracket is going to mount here and this is going to be on the way. That's why you want to remove it. Also, when you put the big bracket, it's going to be right here and it's going to, this is going to be on the way. Now, in size comparison, this is the factory rotors and this is the E90 rotors right here. As you can see, it's massive. It's way, 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 way bigger. And that's why I wanted to have this installed on the car. So let me go ahead and trim that really quick and then uh, go ahead and start mounting everything back. After you cut it, it will look something like this. My cup is not perfect, but it will do for now. So now what we will have to do is mount the E90 rotor right here. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and you know clean up this uh, hub area just so that the new brake rotor sits um, you know on a clean surface now that you mounted the rotor it's time to put the bracket but before i put the bracket i wanted to show you what happened here so i had to modify and cut a little bit of the shield on the bottom here because it was touching this rotor on the bottom portion here so i had to trim it just to make some space here now what you do now is put a little bit of red loctite on the tip of this bolt around here and then mount it onto the spindle using this bracket once you install the bracket make sure that you torque it to 50 foot pound of torque and the bracket installs from the inside as you can see right here and now i'm going to go ahead and mount the brake line right here into here using that right there and this banjo fitting make sure you put one or two washer on each end once i mount it i'm going to show you how it looks so literally you will have the banjo going here the banjo bolt going here where you put one crush washer on this end which will be on this end and then another crush washer on this end and then you mount it right here after that we are going to mount this caliper into the car right there and secure it using this long black hex 12 millimeter bolt I'm running into some issues with the front one, so I decided to do the rear now. So what you have to do first on the rear is you remove the six millimeters screw right, hex right here, one, two, and then you remove the 16 millimeter bolts securing the calipers, one, two, that will give you access to remove the calipers. After you remove the caliper, what you want to do is remove the rotors. Make sure also that for the rear that you put your parking brake down so that it's not activated because if it is activated you won't be able to remove the rotor so i'm going to kind of do that and then show you what we have to do next once you reach this point now you have to cut a little bit of the dust shield to fit the brake calipers right here because the brake caliper is much bigger than you know the factory ones so you want to cut it so i make a line right here it's going to show where you have to cut so somewhere around here this place is going to go and in here, it's around where they have this indentation. So I will just follow that and this piece is going to go. Now that's going to open it and create enough space for me to put the bracket and mount the caliper. In terms of comparison, this is the old caliper from the right side, which as you can see right there is completed. And this is the one that I'm going to install on the left side. Now you can see here that this is much 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 bigger that's why we are actually cutting the dust shield so that it can clear this easily now the issue that i have on the front here is pretty 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 simple as you can see i tried to mount everything and this is kind of how everything will look like it's just that i haven't connected the braided uh, brake line but right now i have a fitment issue as you can see here this is touching the calipers Now, when I did my research, this was not an issue that people were running. So I'm thinking that because I decided to go with the 360 millimeters E90 disc, I might be running this issue because a lot of people use the CSL rotors with this same kit, but the bracket that I have is the bracket for the E90 rotors. So technically it should fit. There's a few people that actually had made this work and it worked for them. So I'm not sure exactly how they did. So that's why I decided to just stop for now right now when you try to spin it's kind of hard because it is touching somewhere here although i try to shim as you can see some of this uh 
bracket caliper inside piece right here and the top two but it wasn't enough so i'm thinking that i'm gonna have to resume this another day same thing for the other side so for now what i want to do is just go ahead and cut the dust shell so when you cut the dust shell this is kind of how it will look like this set is complete everything all the way to the brake line is connected so this one is done and it looks nice so i'm gonna go ahead now and cut the dust shell and show you what you have to do next once you're done cutting it should look something like this it's true i did a poor job but that will do for now i'm not using the best tool this is what i'm using to cut right here and it's not the most accurate tool so you might want like an angle grinder to do this but I got me what I wanted. When you're cutting here on the top, just be careful of these boots right here so that you don't damage those. Now it's time to go ahead and put the bracket and then put the caliper. I'm almost done here. One thing I need to mention about the 99C calipers that you use on the back is that whenever you are buying them, these would not be set up this way. Because on the BMW, as you can see, it's putting like that and on the Porsche is actually being put like this on the front so what you want to do is make sure that you know these are always pointing towards the top so a lot of people are swapping using the left on the right and the right on the left but you don't actually have to do that because it's incorrect you want the small piston to be the leading piston right here and this is what you will accomplish whenever you actually swap these brake line transfer line so you take the one that was here put on the top here and these bleeder screws you put them on the bottom i completed those already for both of these so i didn't show what i did here but essentially what you want to do is when you get them from ebay you swap this so you take this one that is on the bottom from the right side put it on the left side top and then these that are on the left side you put them on the bottom so that's going to complete it this is day two of the work i got stuck yesterday you know on the front i finished the back i got stuck on the front because i explained to you earlier that i had a fitment issue so as you can see here on this caliper I shave off a little bit of about one millimeter off this way because that is what was touching the rotors that is on the car this is done I just have to install the brake line to the car and that side is completely done I also put the pad now I have to do this now on the left side so literally I have to install the brake line here mount this because now it is perfect i just test fit it it doesn't touch anymore because i shave up about one millimeter on each end of this little thing it doesn't change the the rigidity of the calipers but when you do that make sure that you tape around here so that no dust is going around the piston area so i taped it up now i clean it up it looks okay i mean i'm a little mad because well you know it, it's no longer shiny it's look kind of ghetto but it will do once it's mounted on the car you won't even see this after a while i'll probably come back and try to paint but i'm scared that if i paint i might add a few millimeters again and run to the same issue literally because the clearance is like this small this is day number three so i found the solution well freaky part helped me find the solution so it seems like i was installing the bracket wrong and this is what created the issues of fitment that i had so after installing the bracket like this i test fit it and all the modification that i've done on the calipers i did not have to do it so by modification i mean this shaving right here so technically you don't have to do that and if you install the bracket this way you will not have to do that so i was following the build journal um, documentation and he installed the exact same calipers but the difference is that he had a different bracket so i was mounting the bracket instead of mounting it this way i was marking it upside down this way so bolting from that end that's why he created this fitment issue so after i contacted freaky part that showed me a picture of how it's supposed to be mounted and as soon as i mounted like that bam everything is good so it's good that i've made this video so that if people purchase the kit from them they will know the right way to you know install it so now i'm going to go ahead and mount everything as you can see i already installed the brake lines but i didn't bleed them yet so after i install everything put the pad then i bleed the system i'm going to show you everything i did a test fitment of the car and it is perfect so it is not rubbing i have uh, i don't know what offset i have on my waist but i'm going to put the specs on the description for you but it's fitting perfectly front and right so let me go ahead and finish the installation of calipers and everything and the pads and then show you how you know this looks with the car 
down. Fast forward a few days, the car is set now. Everything is installed and as you can see the fitment is on point. I drove it on a nice little trip yesterday and today and the brakes are feeling amazing. This is 360 millimeters rotors with this Trophy R Cup calipers, Brembo pads in here. And on the back here, I have the regular 325, no, 328 millimeters rotors from the CSL with the Porsche 996 calipers and textile pads, everything installed no issues on the fitment again like i mentioned earlier the issue that i had was really because i was following the wrong instruction so when you follow the right instruction and install these pads you shouldn't have any issues this installation took me a few days normally it's something i can complete in a few hours maybe six hours or so since you have to do a lot of work on the front of the back and then the bleeding but it took me a few days just because i was following again like i said the wrong instruction and i did some modification on the brake calipers that i really did not have to do because the fitment is perfect so i don't want to go ahead and show that uh, freaky parts it's not selling great product they are i was just following the wrong instruction so whenever you buy something make sure that you get an instruction from those manufacturers because it is true that it is the same brake system that you know the build journal is using but he's using a different bracket that mounts differently than the one from the freaky part so this is an important step that you need to realize if you're buying this specific set now if you're going with the 996 front and back you will not have that issue because those are different brackets so make sure that when you do your bracket you test fit on each side before you can complain that it's not working all right now i'm enjoying my car and i love i love i love the way it breaks now it is much more firm i wasn't used to the pedal at first but i got used to it after driving a few days like i mentioned and now um i'm all set so on this note see you on the next video bye bye